Hi, this is Riddick, Big Daddy Bo, the two-time former world heavyweight champion, and you're watching Cool True Sports. <laughs> True School Sports. True School Sports. There you go, champ. Thank you. Brendan Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with uh, Emma Williams. How you doing, champ? I'm doing good, man. Weight was pretty easy to make this time. My fifth time around, just I'm, I'm getting the science of it down. And, um, you know, most of the time we do these press conferences. It's the day before the weigh-in, so everybody's kind of feeling it, you know. But today I feel good. I feel real strong. Don't feel drained at all. I'm ready to go, so I'm feeling good. Is it helping you any more that the fight is earlier in the week? Because I know fights are usually Saturday, Friday, you know, later in the week. Um, I'm used to sparring and, and things all throughout the week. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm sparring. I'm always doing some type of fight activity to where it doesn't really make a difference. It just feels like I'm fighting in the middle of the week. You know, I feel like I got more power, less power. I'm more invigorated because it's Thursday, you know what I'm saying? I don't have any of those feelings, but... Um, that's, that's because of the good training, you yeah. know what I mean? That's because of that all-around set training. So I just feel normal, I'm ready to go. Absolutely. You um, you, you were somebody that did have a big amateur background. Yeah. Um, for, for people that have never seen you fight and are going to see you fight for the first time, maybe on this card, yeah. uh, how would you describe like your boxing style? Um, my boxing style, my first three fights, I was just going for the knockout, and I got them all first round. Boom. Fourth fight, I could talk to Eddie Hearn, Barry, Barry Hearn. They said, look... We got to see something. We got to see the boxing ability. We got to see the ability to go around. And they ended up giving me a hard opponent that I could box and, you know, fight a more calculated fight with. But I hated that fight. I hated yeah. it. I hated having to pull back and kind of not be myself. Because you wanted to sleep fools. You just want to sleep everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But also, too, I want to show art. I want to be artistic. I want to have fun doing it. So this fight, I think I'm going to pull those two things together, meet in the middle, and have a real artistic performance. That's what I think y'all should look for, but a very explosive performance as well. Not just the, see you later, Tim. Not just the, um, I'm coming out here to score the points and win. I don't want to see that. I, I personally don't want to see that. Because when I started boxing, before I started boxing, I didn't watch boxing. Okay. Um, and then when I did start boxing and I started watching these guys that were overly technical, I just understood that that's not easy on the eyes. It's not something that people want to see. Yeah. You know, and um, I just, I'm not going to be that fighter. So you're going to see some artistic and explosive. I put those two things Artistic together. and explosive. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. One thing you, I, I heard you speak about in the press conference was that uh, you wanted to bring something new to boxing. You weren't a, a, a exactly specific about what that was, but what do you want to bring new to the, get the sport of boxing? That's what I'm going to let y'all tune in. <laughs> okay. Boy. I'm going to let you guys tune in, Steve, because I've been curating this style for a long time. Um, I've done a lot of different activities that help me bring this style up. And uh, it's risky. It's edgy. You know what I'm saying? It's different. It's, it's not it's not in no way, shape, or form orthodox. Yeah, yeah. My, um, you doing Kung Fu, man? Like, what you yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what? I did a little capoeira, man. I did a little capoeira, but... Um, Guys, gotta we get just pick up in the bar, yeah, please. Thank you so much. No, we don't walk. We don't okay. Walk. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's... It's different, man. You just have to tune in and see. It has so many different variables to it. I want you guys to watch it merge and put your own name to it. You know what I mean? Okay. I want to show it and I want to let y'all name it. Oh, all right. That's how we're going to do that. Okay. Um, if, uh, what, what weight class are you fighting exactly right now? I'm fighting 160 right now, but like I said at the beginning of the... Um, at the beginning of the interview, yeah. I'm starting to hit 160 so easy. Um, I, I might not have to stay there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. My biggest thing is not going to 160. I mean, they don't. Yeah. Okay, I got you. You killed it, man. You think so? I did good job. I really don't want to go to. Well, my management team, promotion the team, they don't want me to kill myself making 154 if by the time I get to world championships, I'll just fall, fill back out and be fighting at 60. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm still new, so my body is still turning into a boxer's body. I'm still conforming to the sport. So I haven't yet developed everything, the perfect boxer's okay. body. You know what I mean? So I have more weight to, to gain. And uh, they thinking that I might 
might be a 60, 68, 75. Yeah, because you're still pretty young, right? How, how, how young 23. are you? 23. 23, okay. And I started at 19. Okay, so you got, you got some time. Yeah, I got a lot of time. Yeah. Do you have a dream fight maybe in the future? Huh? Do you have like a dream fight maybe in the future, somebody you want to take on? Uh, you know what? I don't have a dream fight. No. I love to fight Canelo. Who wouldn't right now, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's good yeah. money. <laughs> but I mean, for me, it's more about the performances than the person. Yeah, yeah. I, the better the performance, the more people are rolling around. It's a lot of kids coming out of the amateurs uh, a long time. Me, um, that were talents. It's a lot of people I fought in the amateurs top level. It's a lot of guy, a couple guys I lost to that I want to get back. All the, every loss that I have in the amateurs, I want to get back. Who are some people that you fought in the amateurs that people would know out there? like? Um, I fought Troy Isley. Okay. When I was in my first, uh, first, my first ever national, I fought Troy. Great kid, great fighter, man. Respect to him. Uh, but that's what I had to get back. Um, yeah, it's a lot, man. It's everybody. You want everybody. I want everybody. But Troy, that's a that's one that I do want. But he's a great. I mean, it's not any disrespect to him. It's just I'm just saying everybody that I um took a loss to or I felt like I, I lost because of my lack of experience, I want to get it back in the pros and I'll put on a show for the people. Absolutely. Um, your, your punching power, like, like um, how, how hard do you say, how hard do you think you punch as a fighter? I mean, I know it's kind of hard to measure, but... Uh, I've broken a lot of bones. Have you? Yeah, I've broken a lot of bones. Uh, I had a lot of nose breaks in the, in the amateurs. One of which is online, which is probably my favorite to go look at because it was my first open fight in Golden Gloves. It was my third fight. I wasn't even supposed to be fighting open yet. I broke the guy's nose. Um, so that was documented. I broke ribs in the gym. Numerous ribs in the gym I've broken. Uh, I broke two of uh, guys. You can see it on the zone. I took, I broke two of uh, guys' ribs in my third profession. I think I've seen that one. Yeah. I've seen that one. So I got that type of power where um, it breaks bones. I think it's a certain amount of force that you got to have to break a bone, and I have that. So I think I punch pretty hard. Um, and my power is still developing. Like I said, I'm still new to the sport. Power, I think, is one of those things that's just God-given, so you yeah. learn how to properly punch, you'll show your power. And, uh, yeah, I think that's that's about a good description. Okay. The way the way you talk and you sound like you, you sound like Deontay Wilder. I've heard him talk. I've heard him say some of those same words. Oh yeah. Yeah. Where well, he's like he's like oh uh, I had these guys. I broke the bones, made them cease on the ground. Yeah yeah. yeah. You know, you know well, I mean this is factual. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A lot of people might say, and what with Deontay Wilder is yeah. factual. Yeah. Uh, it's just a certain force that's needed to break a human bone through a padded glove. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? So. That's how hard I hit, man. Okay. You strike me as somebody who's probably a very interesting outside the ring. Like, oh, yeah. do you have any inter in, uh, things outside of boxing that you want people to know about yourself? Oh uh, man, I, I dance. I'm a, I'm a hip hop dancer. Uh, I like to act. Okay. I'm a writer. Uh, so much stuff, man. I, 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 I like to believe I'm a funny guy. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I love my dog. I'm a dog, man. I'm really a homebody. Uh, as far as things that I'm really good at, I do capoeira. Okay, uh, yeah. Which is a Brazilian fighting style. That you I said do. that earlier. Yeah. Uh, I do a lot of things, but the main thing that I do is boxing. I just like to keep my mind stimulated and have a lot of fun. Um, almost anything artistic I'll try. I'll, I'll do. I, I love the arts. Man. Yeah. So, uh, you write any? You, are you going to write any books in the future? You said so, you, you like know, to write. I'm, all of these experiences that you're going to see and that you are currently seeing, are things that's going to be in my books. Okay. This is the most potent thing a human could feel. Hand to hand combat where everything's, well, not everything because MMA is, is a little bit more gun ho but yeah. a lot. I mean, you, you have the ability and you have the right to hurt somebody as much as possible. And uh, uh, I think that this is one of the most potent things you can do as a human. One of the most. Cool. Not animalistic, but primal. Primal things we have is to protect ourselves and to get ourselves uh, ready for war yeah. and have to, you know, that it's either fight or flight and things of that nature. 
with with all of the things that lead up to doing a, a, an event in that as you know in, in that realm, you're gonna feel some very potent things. Yeah. Also, too, I can connect this to almost anything in life. Uh, everybody, not everybody in the world is fighters. We already know that. It's a small amount of people who have the gall to do that. But everybody in the world can connect to a fight. Everybody in the world can correlate something to a fight. Yeah. You know, whether it be a relationship, you know, a weight struggle, uh, class if you're in school. Whatever. You can you can you can definitely correlate something uh, to fight it, which is why I chose to do it. You know what I mean? I think I have I know I had a brain to do a lot of other things, but I wanna do that because I, I like to connect with the people and that's the all right. Well, uh, any message to the boxing world about your career and your fight this week? Um, this one will be fun because I got a guy who has 40 plus MMA fights. I'm around MMA fighters all the time, so I know their their mentality. Is 40, far, really? 40? 40 plus uh, MMA fights. Yeah. Uh, and he was a champion in, in, in MMA, MMA as well. So uh, I know those guys' mentality. They, yeah, yeah. They're tough. They feel like they felt everything: knees, elbows, kicks what can a punch really do to me, you know, but this is an art. Boxing is the art of striking. That's it. If you haven't been working out on the art of striking as much as I have, uh, you don't stand a chance. I don't care if you was doing bare knuckle fighting, you know, I know the art of boxing. And um, I'm gonna show that. I'm gonna show why you need to be a superior fighter to stay in the ring with me. Um, I don't care how tough you are. You know, I'm gonna find the right shot. That's it. There you go. All right, Austin Amber Williams. Thanks, champ. Man, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, man. Showtime, Sean Porter. This is Eros Mandrain. Everyone, this is Jesse Vargas. You're watching True School Sports. You're watching True School Sports. All right, and you're watching True School Sports. Stay tuned.